we've come to Port Zeeland in the Netherlands to test a boat that was designed in Liechtenstein, built in Italy, and whose headquarters is in Austria. A bit of a strange combination given, but the principle of Dominator Yachts is very simple. They build very high quality, custom built yachts. Usually at a slightly larger scale than this, the 640 is going to be the smallest boat in their range, but they will take nine months to build a boat of this size, and that tells you something of just how painstaking they are when it comes to the attention to detail. Let's go on board and have a closer look. Let's talk about what the 640 is like to drive because generally it's a thoroughly enjoyable experience. Mainly down to the fact that there's a pair of MAN 1200 horsepower diesels in the engine room which provide endless amounts of torque and power and we got up to 30 knots pretty easily uh, out there today. Uh, and it's just so smooth, that's what you notice. The, the boat runs really nice and flat through the water very very quiet very refined and uh, it just feels like it can munch up the miles uh, in, in, even on a rough day it feels extremely solid the, the only downside is the, the driving position slightly uh, it's okay in terms of the throttle and the wheel as you can see they fall to hand quite nicely but um, the, the only issue I have is the fact that the engine control screens which are the, the lovely bonding system but they're a bit of a stretch away um, which means you're going to be leaning forward if you want to change screens or check anything uh, but that aside you're going to stick it on autopilot sit back and, and let the hull do the work that attention to detail that I was just talking about in the intro starts from the second you get on board the boat. The moment you touch this super chunky stainless steel boarding gate, which has got the Dominator crown logo fixed inside of it. Then you have the toggle switches here, and they have this lettering and these panels which are all over the boat. That's completely uniform wherever you go. Real nice consistency throughout the entire boat. And then you get to the mooring gear, which is super chunky. You've got a winch, nice big clean really good chunky fairlies, rollers built in and then there's a rope bin here for your tails which you can get to separately through this locker and then once you've done all the nasty rope work they've even put a sink underneath this hatches so you can wash your hands straight away afterwards. The interior of this boat is absolutely magnificent when it comes to the attention to detail and the finish. Everywhere you look there's something interesting to catch your eye. They haven't just left sort of fiberglass or anything bare or left to chance. Everything is working hard. For example, the wood in here. This is a Brazilian wood called Caballo and they've stained it especially to give it this sort of leopard print effect and it looks absolutely fantastic and it's across the entire boat and as you can see here as well you, they've got this backlighting here this sort of detailing is all over the place the marble inserts again backlit the quality of the leather and then you've got more sort of nice soft led lighting and lovely suede headlining up here marble on top of the galley here everything just feels so substantial and looks of the highest quality and what Dominator say is that they're trying to bring the super yacht feel down to this corner of the market and it absolutely feels like that's what they're doing. They build much bigger boats than this and they're taking that attitude and putting it onto a boat of this size. I'm beginning to sound like a stuck record now but the details really are what set this boat apart and this little hallway here sums it up absolutely perfectly. You've got a nice solid grab rail here but then it's backlit with LED so you have it lit up on the lovely wood once again. Individual LED spotlights in the stairs, beautiful soft thick carpet and then I mean how many times have you seen a sort of a hallway in a boat that, of this size? Something like this, a little feature to sort of catch your eye as you come down the stairs, more backlit marble a little bit of storage space and then the dominator crown stitched into the leather here. Everywhere you look there's something for your eye to behold. Central to the 640's charm is this absolutely amazing master cabin. They've actually had it so low in the hull that you step in, you walk down three stairs and then you're in a completely flat area around the bed so you can move around really easily. There's loads of headroom and then You've got the bathroom in here, which is finished to such a high standard. The marble is amazing. Even the toilet looks like an art installation. Absolutely stunning. And you can look through the window here and watch somebody showering if you want to. Moving down around the bed, um, you know, even on the top of these bedside tables here, the marble is extended out here, they could have just been left as plain wood, but they've gone to the extent of putting that in. And then next to the bed, actually, on, on that side, you have uh, 
a plug obviously, you have an ethernet cable slot, you have controls for all the lights in the cabin, and what's a really nice touch is that both sets of blinds on either side of the boat can be controlled from the bed as well. Another nice little touch. And then over on this side, this is the first time I've seen this sort of setup in a, in a master cabin really, where you've got the shades along which is sometimes considered a bit useless. But when you pair it with this great little vanity table slash breakfast area, put a little seat there, this is a great place to have you know, a, a quick breakfast in the morning, get away from it, and then of course for the other half to do a makeup on it. Dominator is a name that if you keep your boat in the UK you're probably not overly familiar with, they haven't had much of a presence in the UK. But if you want a boat that is not only unique but built to an extremely high standard, painstakingly made, then this really is the boat for you. And not only that, of course it's going to stand out from the crowd. I urge you to come and have a look at one at the next boat show.